whisper to my own eyes, I see a young girl. She's in the butterflies in the yard, ignoring the scab on her knees. I miss her innocence. But can I miss an innocence if I'm unsure I ever even had it? A six-year-old girl missing to be sitting down on face burning from embarrassment. Being told she's growing up too fast and that she's going to give her parents trouble, but she couldn't pronounce the letter S yet. Seven years being threatened by hungry eyes coming down her body at the park. She's weak, but she didn't want to be left with Jane No. Eight years of memories encircling her naive mind, joined by her crush's voice. I'm sorry you're so fat. She started wearing a jacket, Laura. She was nine years old, the sweaty hands of the boy down the street dragging up her leg because fire trucks don't stop at red lights. She never liked the fire truck game. It didn't feel like a game, and it never really was. But why am I surprised? Time and time again, I'm shown that I don't have control of my own body. Not in Sunday school. The house of dogs wouldn't protect me. Not from the boy next to me trying to pull down my waistband. I was five. I've been begging for the torment to end. On my hands and knees, tears to my face, mirroring the floor, I beg, I beg for a world where I am human, not an object being used for your pleasure. But my screams must be whispers because my prayers are left unanswered. I let the words starve me, it looks shoot me, and hands choke me. I was stabbed in the face by reality before I could even go outside alone. 